All right, so here's what we're, what we're doing now. I've got these things all made up. If you saw my heat bending aluminum video, you can see that that's what's going on there. Just doing like a matte finish polish. Nothing super shiny, just trying to make them look kind of like this one. Did. This is the back one, the only one we had original. So we're making some curtains here pretty soon. And uh, go and to get the last two panels outside, I'll show you those. Take one last look at the floor. And, uh, yeah, before we cover it up, right? Got these panels in, if you guys didn't see that video. Gonna make the, I've got those made right here. I'm gonna shoot some lacquer on them real quick. All right, so we've got the curtain rods in. Uh, we've got to still make the curtains. We're gonna take it back out for that. Put it a little better right here. So you can see that they look like in. Looks pretty cool. And then we also made these. Just bought some bungee stock and got these little crimper guys. And then uh, you just crimp them down. It's like a little aluminum crimper thing and we just put this around made little eye hooks in there and this is you know i don't know if this year had the bungee but that's what it's getting so i think uh i think all the westphalias had it but i think the spring type things were actually on the uh the springs were actually on the other one well we got to move those ones around these ones are supposed to go from that hole over to the middle hole there so we'll see how that works out. Uh, we'll get to move those because that's for the, there's little surrounds that go around those windows that we still have to put in. We haven't put them in yet. So anyway, I'm going to start doing some insulation in here. Um, I got this stuff on eBay. I don't know. $16 for, I don't know, it's more square footage than the other one. It's like almost the same thing as the uh, Frost King stuff that I got over there. If you see there. It's almost the same thing so but uh, it has sticky on the back of it it has foam and it has like a, a softer foil but it'll be fine i'm not going to do the whole sheets on the ceiling just be too expensive to do the whole thing covered entirely i don't think the insulation does much anyway i'm not going to put the regular insulation in there because that just attracts water and then it ends up being a disaster in the future that's why a lot of them are rusted out in the roofs on the uh, westphalia so Anyway, yeah, it's not like nobody's going to be camping this thing every day. It's going to get out every once in a while. So, anyway, move on.
All right, do a little sew in here. thing. Good, but oh well, it won't be that bad. I don't have it on real time, I'm doing plenty nice and straight, but. So I fold the two sides over, cut it at 22 inches, and I cut the other one at 16. What I'm doing is I'm folding over, supposed to be a half inch, I got a little carried, carried away on that one. Might be doing a half inch. Fold. It's a little tricky because my presser foot is set up for doing a vinyl. And it's got really sharp teeth on it. So when I put it through this cloth, sometimes it it like catches and stuff. It's a little frustrating. bunch of loops. Like that. What happens, that's what happens, it gets caught. Press her foot. Should change it. it. Takes too much time. Just cut them off. little guys off. Let's see, I got one. This one I folded over two inches, which are the size of these squares, so it's kind of cool. I can just watch it.
And just so if you guys want to make these, you could kind of watch this part. If you guys don't want to watch, you can fast forward through it, double time it or whatever. So I'd make it real time. That's kind of straight, I guess. Good enough. So here's what we got. A little off there, but that's no big thing. I hope you guys can see it. I'll put it in wide angle. How's that? So this is a uh, this was cut at 22 inches. That's, oh, what the heck happened there? But uh, 22 inches. And then uh, I actually did clean everything before I started, but it's just so much dirt in here. But it's 22 inches by 16 is what I caught, fold, and I folded a half inch on the sides, folded a half inch on the bottom, folded two inches on the top, leave about a one inch area here with the stitches. About you know quarter inch here on the top. Same thing on the bottom. I usually try and get it at a quarter inch, but got a little off. Sorry. That's how it works. All right, what do you guys think? Supposed to be about the similar color. I mean, I didn't buy the exact replica stuff. I mean, this stuff was, I got to do the front one still. We have to make all those little sliders. It's going to take the regular ones and modify them and make them fit in that little groove. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to figure it out. So anyway, and then uh, got these in. Now I'm, I've got some ties coming. What I'm going to use is, um, you ever seen those uh, things with the two beads that girls wear for their, uh, for their ponytail? You know, I use those on here. I'm just going to put them around there. I got some gold ones coming. Look kind of cool. 
not you know, like shiny gold, but like, you know, yellow gold, I guess. It'll go with everything here. So I got the sun kind of facing us, so a little bit of trouble taking a video of this maybe, but get it wide format here. How's that look a little bit better? Maybe that's a little better. You kind of see once I get them all tied and everything, it's going to look kind of cool. I like the color with all everything. Now we get imagine the wood ceiling and all the cabinets in here and all that. You know, bummer is, is check this out. Had a little bit of bondo right here. See that blood? I get cut so easy. It's underneath my arm. A little tiny bit of filler that was on there. Just, it's not even sharp really, but it cut me and then I got blood on some of the curtains. Hey, say blood, sweat, and tears on your car, right? I guess it's okay. Look at it from back here. Look really cool with the doors open. Has a show. It goes with the with the white, doesn't it? You know, has that same cream look. It's like right in there. I think that's what they had in these things originally. Something similar. It might have been a little bit smaller checks, but you know, like I said, this was a hundred dollars for six yards. So how much is that a yard? I don't know. I don't remember. That's shipped and everything. Ninety-six dollars or a hundred and one dollars, I can't remember. So I just found them off of uh off the internet somewhere. I just started looking at colors until I found one that looked like that. And that's what I went with. So checks are maybe a little bit bigger than the original ones, but that's fine. Looks good. Alright, so that's it for the curtains. And I got the floor in. So I'm painting that. I just threw that in here. I just sprayed lacquer on it for now, but I'm eventually I'm gonna put polyurethane on it probably. Just because people walk on it a lot, clean it, you know, at least one of that lacquer on there so that it's protected for now. And then I put that in place. You can see my dirt footprints in there. But so once it gets a mat on it and it gets a little aluminum edge, got to go buy orange aluminum and pick that up. They have a whole bunch of that stuff. Really cheap. Everybody else wants a ridiculous amount of money for it. Orange aluminum has it. You can have it shipped out, six footers. And uh, you only need about four feet but or four feet and a couple inches but they only sell it in six foot length so get that and they got table edge and all that stuff too so i'll get that stuff there probably all right i'll talk to you guys in the next video i still gotta put those panels in it takes two of us to do that so i'll have to wait on that one catch me on the next video we'll show you an update on that talk to you in the next video please like share and subscribe